In this video, it's our last in our series of our island trip and Louis goes to stay in a posh hotel and he gets really spoiled. And I go salmon fishing but don't catch anything. And at the end of the video, we'll give you some tips that we've picked up while I was across in Ireland. Lord Louis, don't want you to move out your bed, strain yourself or anything, after all that running on the beach today. Is that good? Hmm? To the hair life then. Mm. Poo picker. Pretty damn good for a poo picker. Yeah. Do you like your uh, and the pooer? Tassel estate. Gorgeous, isn't it? There's the pooer. <laughs> Lord Louis lives the high life in the castle grounds. Louis gets to stay in some of the best accommodation. Don't you, Louis? Hmm? Don't have him on the bed. Did you hear Joe saying don't have him on the bed? That's because we had to pay a £500 deposit in case he trashes the place. Hmm? So he gets a certificate, a special menu, a bone, two, two bowls, one to eat out, one for water, a blanket, and some mineral water. And what do you think to that, Louis? Is that bed big enough for you, Lou? <laughs> is there anything you want off that menu, do we? Is there anything you fancy off I that menu? I think bangers and mash with carrots and gravy might be good. Bangers and mash, Lou? Do you fancy that? Sweet son? Sausages? Yeah, I think that's what he's after. Are you slightly spoiled? Oh, I've got to get some pictures of Louis, Louis tea. <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that's is. What have I got for you, Louis? Oh, thank you. Right. What's this? Is this too hot or would you like it to cool it down? Um, oh, yeah, it's a bit hot. Yeah, it's a bit hot. Yeah. Just stick yeah, it on there. Just stick it on there. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. no, that's absolutely oh, fantastic. Right. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Thank, Thank you, happy boy. He is. You want a glass yeah. of wine with that, Louis? Do you want some wine with it, Lou? <laughs> All right, Louis. Are you ready for your bangers, mash and oh, carrot? Yeah. Is that good? Is that good? We've got more water as well. Yeah. well. What's the chip score then? As we've had the whipping meal score. Mm. Yeah, they're really nice. Seven. What's the whipping meal score? Is that a noun? I think it's a 10 out of 10. You don't like it because it's too hot. Yeah, he's eating it now. Are you eating your bed? How come you laid on the massive bed when in the corners all the things you were supplied with? Hmm? How does that work here?
we really enjoyed our trip across to Ireland and um, going from Scotland and just going on the ferry that took two hours was definitely the right thing to do with Louis. As you saw in our first video, as we took him across there, we actually took his crate with us and put him in his crate. But he was that relaxed, he, he wasn't a problem at all for him. So we, um, on the way back, we didn't bother with his crate. We just left him in the van and he was absolutely fine. But the two hours is long enough. We wouldn't want to take him any longer than that on the ferry, but it was absolutely fine on there. Um, the cost for that was about 200 pound, just over 200 pound each way. And that give us um, priority boarding and it also give us access to club lounge. So he got free tea and coffee and you had a glass of wine and there was various nibbles and things in there and he was guaranteed a seat. Um, and it made the priority boarding enabled us to get off as soon as possible. And then when we got across to Ireland, Northern Ireland was brilliant. We loved it, Northern Ireland. We've, um, I've been to Northern Ireland once before with work, but not as a tourist. And we did all the touristy things, the, uh, the rope bridge and the various monuments and the Giant's Causeway, of course, which was all great. But the holiday really started for me when we headed south and went down the um, west coast on the Wild Atlantic Way. And that was just beautiful. Lots of spots there for wild camping and beautiful, beautiful spots for wild camping with beaches with hardly anybody on there. Um, Louis loved running on those beaches and we had a tremendous time down there. To find the beaches, we um, used to park for the night um, and that helped out. We found a few on there. Or we just actually went off the Wild Atlantic Way Road and found um, some of the visitors' spots, the viewing areas. A number of those you could stay on there free of charge. Um, recommendations to what we used when we was over there. We bought a road map of Ireland, of all of Ireland. And this is like an ordinate survey version of it. And this was really, really useful. This enabled us to pick out various spots and places to go and visit. For Northern Ireland, we used a visitor's guide. This is the visitor's guide we got from the tourist information, which is really useful. But this, the caravan and camping sites for all of Ireland, for the Wild Atlantic Way, was tremendously useful. Um, not just for finding campsites to stay on, but also it gives you a little bit of detail for each area. So if you follow the map in the middle of the book, there's a map of the full route, and then look at the various numbered sites, it actually shows you all the campsites and gives you some narrative about the various areas as well. So we found this really useful, not just for campsites, as I say, but for finding out information for the various areas. So I could highly recommend one of those. Definitely need a road map and using your phone for pack for the night and for Google Earth was critical for us to find our way around. Um, we really enjoyed it. We didn't have enough time. We was over there for just over two weeks. We could have stayed there for a couple of months really and carried on. We've done Southern Ireland before a number of times and done some diving around there. So we know that area quite well. So we wanted to focus on sort of Middle Island along the coastal route. And we could have easily spent another two to three, four weeks in that area. Just beautiful and not overcrowded as well. There's quite a few people in Northern Ireland and you always get lots of people down in Kerry and Cork and the, the main areas on the southern side of Ireland. But down the west um, side of Ireland, we, did, we didn't think it was overpopulated at all. And the kids with school was on the school holidays at that period. And um, it was great. We had, we had plenty of room and we could find places and beaches that we had to ourselves, which was just tremendous. Hope you've enjoyed the videos. Um, we will be obviously producing some more. This is our last of our island trip. And if there's any questions that you need answers to or any advice, drop in the comments below and uh, I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks as always for watching and we'll be out on another adventure soon with Louis. Mm -hmm.